Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Horn with the Lake Kitchen Morning Forecast. We've had a weak frontal boundary trying to work through this morning. It does not cool us off at all, but it does bring in some uh, lower humidity values, and that's uh, what we're looking at as far as the dew points go here. Obviously, once you get dew points in the in the 50s, it's just a bit more comfortable, and I think that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So it's not as humid, maybe not a heat index. Still in the triple digits, though. Uh, still going to be very hot. And look at that frontal boundary. It does sink south and help, uh, helps to create maybe a shower or two by 5, 6 o'clock this evening. There's an outside chance of that. Now, I don't think we see much here in San Antonio, uh, but there's a chance we could see one or two pop up south of town, about a 10 to maybe 20% chance a little bit later today. As we look long term, high pressure comes back over top of us by Thursday and Friday, which means we're going to see some very hot temperatures. But then by early next week, this scoots north and that opens the door potentially for some disturbances to work in east to west across South Texas. That could could bring some small rain chances. 104 Wednesday, 107 on Thursday, our hottest day, still hot through the weekend. And then there's that small chance of rain by the time we get to Monday.